All right, so this is the resistance band plank. So much like a regular plank, the only difference is you're gonna add weight. So instead of adding weight, having it sit on your back, you're gonna use your resistance band. So for this, you just need a resistance band. You don't need handles because you're gonna grab it right like this above the canvas pieces. So getting set up, starting on your knees, putting your hands forward, making sure that your wrists are under your shoulders, and then you're gonna step straight back and just hold a plank. But while you're holding a plank, you're gonna have this resistance trying to pull you down. So see how it is wrapped up around my shoulders, um, up around my elbows and behind my shoulders, and I'm gonna hold my plank. So now, when you're doing a plank, you wanna keep your abs pulled in nice and tight. Don't let your back sag, don't let that resistance band pull you down. And you don't wanna be doing this either because then you're not really working your abs. So keeping your abs pulled in nice and tight, not letting your lower back sag. If you start to feel it in your lower back at all, then that means you're not fully using your abs. So don't just keep doing it. Your abs won't get stronger that way. If you are not able to do a full plank on the ground like that with resistance, then you may need to regress and do just a regular plank without the resistance band. If that is still too much, then you wanna raise the surface. So do an incline plank on a surface, such as a couch, like this. And that is your resistance band plank.